So for us to be able to work on this page, we need to have some data. And later on in the course, we'll be fetching this data from our database using the product ID. But in this case, we can use uh, dummy data or example data. So from our utils, then products, we had this products array. Now I want to, to just take one of the products from here and then we will use that data to work on our page. And I'll take this iPhone 12 right here because it has most of the uh, details that we need. So I'll click here, then I'll scroll up to here. Uh, before I click, I make sure to use shift, hold on shift and then click. So it will select the entire of that section and then I can copy it. So since this is a lot of details to include in our file, we can create a separate file for it, but later on we'll just be removing it. So right here, I'll just add a new file and I'll say, this is our, actually, I think I had created this. Uh, I already have this file called product here. So create a file called product.ts. So we will say export uh, product like that. Then we paste everything. Okay, export const. Yeah. There we go. So I save and now we'll be able to import this product in our page here. So this is inside our product, product ID page. So maybe if, you, if I say product here, we get this. So if I click on it, it's auto imported right here. Awesome. So now we have this product and we can create a new component for our product details. So for that component, I'll come back here let's minimize everything so i'll go to up then product product id here I, I expand it and i can actually create that component in here you can do it on the components folder or you can do it on the individual pages so let's just do it in here so i'll say this is the product details component status functional component product details like that and here let's have a div we will bring these product details in our page here so right here instead of product page let's remove that and uh, before we add it let's wrap everything with our container component so i'll bring in container from this one remember not to confuse with the material one so bring this one here now i'll be able to now call our product details component and uh, i can self close it just like that also here i'll add a class name and i'll add some padding around our page of eight and i'll save so for this product details we will pass this product as a prop so right here we'll say product and we'll set it to be equal to product but it comprehends because our product details doesn't expect to receive any props so let's come to product details and we fix that so here we will define an interface so i'll say interface and this will be our product details props and right here we define our product and for now we'll say any the types for this will be coming from prisma which we will cover later on during the course then right here let's say that this is a react.fc component and square brackets we pass our product details props right there and then right here now we'll be able to receive our product. We destructure it from props and I save. Cool, now another thing is that this product details will be a client component, it will not be a server component. Now to define that this is a client component, remember we use use client right here. Cool, now let's come right here and define the structure of our page. So we will use grid Remember, we have um, two main sections, 
for each of the page we have this images section and then we have this section with all the uh, content so here let's add a class name uh, display grid then for small screens we will have only one column so i'll say grid then hyphen calls one and we can see that whenever i minimize this one so the more i decrease we get one column only the image is at the top details at the bottom but when we get on bigger screens then we get two columns so by default grid calls is one uh, md grid calls will be two so grid hyphen calls will be two also let's add a cap of 12 and i save now inside here uh, remember we'll be having two columns so the first column is for the image so here i say div and here we'll be having the images and then we'll be having another div and here is where we'll be having the details so details let me save to auto format this so we have two divs in here images and details now if we preview this you see we have images on this side we have details here and if we go to a small section we have images at the top details at the bottom so that is coming along well uh, we will add these images return for now we will work on this details part cool because it's easier to get started with now here we will start with maybe a heading so here we will be having the product dot name and if i save we should be seeing it there we go apple iphone 12 64 gb but this should be big so let's add a class name and text will be 3 excel and then font will be medium then we can change the text color so text here straight 700 and that will do it so if i save now this is big awesome so that is the heading for the image then we come down here the next thing will be rating so for rating we will be using the rating component so here i can just say div we'll bring in the rating component from our material ui just like that and this rating component will expect us to pass various prop uh, the first one is the value and then the other one is the read only because we don't th we don't want this to be editable so for this value at the product card we had calculated the rating for each of the products i will go and reuse that so products product card and here we had calculated this product rating i will just copy this so copy that one you can include it at utils and you'll be able to export it in different files but since i'm using this only on two presses then i can i can just copy and paste it uh, right here before our return statement we will paste it and instead of data we will say product and instead of data here we will say this is the okay product i save now this product rating is what we will pass right here you can see our app is already complaining so i pass it here and save and that complaint should go and there we go so we have this rating there awesome so it's working now here uh, we'll have a div and here we should display the number of reviews that we have so all i will do is that i'll take our product dot reviews and then dot length and then out here we can say reviews like that and we add a class name here so i'll say class name so we want them to be side by side right now when i save you'll see reviews is down here so to make them side by side we will display flex and then items should be center then here gap of two and i save and now they are in one line so right here we don't see a gap between them so that is because right here we should add a class name 
So we can display flex and we'll make sure that the flex direction is column and then we'll be able to add a gap of one. So this will automatically create space between our items and we can add the text straight of 500 we don't want it to be too dark and we'll make our text to be small so i'll save all right now the next one will be the description of our product so right here after this div where we have our rating we add another div and this will show the description so here we can just say product dot description uh, if I save, we will actually see all the description there. Awesome. So what I want to do is to just justify the text. So here I can just say text hyphen justify and I save. So if I justify, you'll see it's all in one line here. Awesome. Now there is one cool thing that I also added these small lines here between each section. So to add those lines, I'll actually define a small component outside our product details right here which we can reuse within this page that's why i'm creating it also within this page uh, we don't need to create it anywhere else it's a small component which i'll call horizontal we pass an arrow function and here we return all we need to do is to pass some class name here and here i'll say the width will be uh 30 percent so it will be small you can make it big this will be up to you and then a margin to the top will be two and margin to the bottom will be two so in this case uh, what we can do is just say margin along the y-axis is two so that will be top and bottom and now we have this horizontal component and we can use this horizontal component uh, between our different sections of the product details. So after our reviews here, I can just say horizontal here and we self close this component. And once I save, we should have a line here, but it's going through all the way. So this bracket should be here like that. I save and right here. So we'll have horizontal like that, I save and we'll have another one at the bottom here. We will have a div for our category. So I'll say div and then here we will start with a span. We'll just say category in caps, full colon. And then out here, we will be having the product category and like that. So we will make this category, which is in caps to be bold so i'll say class name font uh, actually it'll say semi bold and i save so that will be our category you can see category is font now i will duplicate this section alt shift bottom arrow and here instead of category we will be having brand and here product dot brand i save there we go i'll say div and here We'll say product dot in stock. We'll use this ternary operator. If the product is in stock, then we will show in stock text. Else, we will say that this product is out of stock. And I should wrap the entire of this section with this curly bracket. So instead of including it here, I'll cut that and include it at the very end here. Okay. So if I save now, We'll be able to see that this product is in stock but we also want to differentiate the colors so if the product is in stock we show it in green else we show it in red so here we add a class name and we will dynamically display the class name i'll do a similar thing i'll ask product dot in stock and we use a question mark there so if it's in stock we'll display text to be teal 400 else we will display the text to be reddish color so i'll say text rose 400 and i save and now this is green else it will be red after our colors 
we separate that with our horizontal component. The next thing will be to show some button to add the product to cut like this. And also we will show uh, color selection and also quantity. So we won't do it right now. We'll do it them episode by episode so that it's easier for you to follow. So for now we can just include some placeholders. Okay, so basically uh, I can duplicate these two more times. One, two. And then after this first one, we will be having our color. Then here after this, let's use a div. We will be having the quantity. And then after that, we'll be having this button to add product to cut. So div uh, add to cut. And I'll go ahead and save. So if I come back here, this is what we have. And uh, we will create each of these in their own separate videos so that it's easier for you to follow. So I'll see you in the next one.